Hi everybody, I'm Doreen and my business name is Privies and Prims and today's video is a floss tube. It is about punch needle and cross stitch. So hopefully uh, that will interest you. If you are new here, welcome and if you're returning, thank you for coming back. So today I'm going to start with some finishes, some cross stitch finishes. I don't think I've showed you these, but um, again, if you look down in the description box, you'll see the links for my Facebook and my Instagram pages, and that's where I post everything as I'm working on them. So this is a pattern I finished here, and this is supposed to have pink flowers. It is from Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher Magazine, um, Spring 2020. I don't think I've showed you this before. The trim is from Hobby Lobby, and I coffee stained it and then I put a vintage button on and then it is just I put a slit here and then I glued a piece of the fabric over top of it. Now this fabric is from a quilt store and you can see how perfectly it matches. So I'm really happy with that. So this I stuffed with sawdust. And then the next pattern, this is a sub rosa design. This is my next fully finished. I am so happy with this. So this is my first stand up. And again, I had fabric that just really went really well with that. And this is actually in the picture from Sub Rosa Design. Let me see, I'll show you here. It is shown framed, but I saw someone on Facebook, or yeah, Facebook actually, that had posted it as a stand up. And so I decided to do mine that way. And I had this little tin cup and it, it's just sitting in there. So here's the bottom that I did. And I will link also the tutorial that I used to do this. The um, It's from someone named Helen B on her floss tube channel. She shows you how to do a stand up. The Rick Rack was something I already had from a thrift store and I just lightly coffee stained it. And I also very lightly coffee stained this just to tone down that blue a little bit because it was pretty bright. But that is my first stand up, which I'm very happy with. Now this little tin cup is from Hobby Lobby and you get it in the um, candle department. It's actually a candle holder. And this stuff is called, um, oh gosh. I think it's called alligator moss. I will run it across here exactly what it's called. But anyway, it's from Dollar Tree. And it's, I did put a little glue in there, but it's kind of like a seaweed. It's just, it's very soft. It's not hard like Spanish moss. And I just put some glue, hot glue in that to hold it. But then this just sits on top. So it's not actually on there permanently. But I'm really, really happy with that. So, okay, those are my two fully finishes on that. And then on Punch Needle, this one by Donna Munson is a fully finished. This is actually a bamboo paddle and I painted it. This is a shop model for um, Shepherd's Needle. I'm a model puncher for them. So this is Donna Munson. This pattern is available on, I think his name is Alexander the Rabbit. And it's on her Etsy shop, which is called um, My Country Keepers. And then I did, um, yeah, Alexander Rabbit is the name of that pattern there. And then I did some more store models. And these are all from Crane Designs. These are for the Shepherd's Needle. This one is my primitive style. Get the glare off it. These two are not. They're very cutesy, but a lot of people like them. Um, so here is the one with the little bunnies and it is called Jelly Bean Adventures because it's like raining jelly beans. And I just turned the back and then when I send it to um, shepherd's needle she will mount it onto something and then this is the crows and this is called two old country crows 
I really like that one. And I did the same thing on the back. I just turned it and I do hot glue. And if you haven't watched before, I just do hot glue up on that upper edge in case if you want it to hand stitch it onto something, there's no glue on this bottom part. And the third one, this is called, well, this is also Jelly Bean Adventures. Let me see. I think there might be a one and a two. Yeah. So the round one, this one is Jelly Bean Adventures 2. Get it right. And then this one is Jelly Bean Adventures 1. So it's a bunny riding a rabbit. So if you like that type of thing, they are from Crane Designs. And again, I did the same thing on the back because I don't know what she's going to mount it on. So that's what she asked me to do. And those were, this one had some Valdani in it. These two were all DMC, the bunnies. So there's those. Um, as far as haul, I'm not sure if I showed you these or not. I got these because I know I posted on Instagram and Facebook, and then I'm not sure if I showed it on the video. But I got these at my LNS. This one is going to be for my camper, which is really tiny. And I just, somehow I have to find a place for it because it's just really cute and it's the right colors. And then I think I'm going to do it in primitive colors for my house. So I'll take out that turquoise aqua color and maybe it'll be like um, a denim blue or something. And then this one I also got. They are both Little House Needleworks. And it says needleworker, and then on each side it says thread. They both repeat thread, linen, pins, and then it has the alphabet. So I really like that one. That close so you can see it. And it is called the Sampler Lady. And then I got these two patterns from. Um, not Forgotten Farm on her Etsy shop. And these are not available as PDF because they're retired patterns. So I had to order them from the mail. So I think I'm going to use this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't use project bags. So I think this is the one I'm going to put my threads in when I have a project I'm working on. I have just been using Ziploc bags. But if I'm going somewhere, I thought this would be cute to take it. And I don't know if it'll focus. I think I locked the focus. But it says, um, spools of my thread is what it says on it. And that is from Not Forgotten Farm on their Etsy shop. And then I got, and I will stitch that on um, Osnaberg coffee stain. Oh, and I should say, this was stitched on coffee-stained Osnaberg, and this one is a mystery fabric because it was given to me, but I think it might be um, even weave, maybe like a 28 count even weave. And the other one I got from Not Forgotten Farm, I'm also doing this one for my camper. And I'll tell you, my camper is only six by nine. I will insert a picture of it here. And it, it's tiny. There's very little wall space. So I'm going to have to be really creative to find a place to put this. But I was admiring this last year and I didn't get it. And this year I just decided I have to get it. So the color of the dress matches my camper colors. But if you do the called for color and look it up, it is really like a bright teal. It's not that color at all. And so I'm changing the color of the dress to be the color that it actually shows in the picture. I do want to change the shoes because they look like witch shoes and I am totally not into witches at all. I don't like Halloween. So I'm going to change the shoes so they don't look like witch shoes. But I've got all my threads here doing this in DMC. 
And that, I believe, I will be starting today because I finished the punch needle last night. I work on one project at a time. And I, this is what I want to work on today. So, um, some other things. I did get this pattern also. And this is from Cinnamon Creek Folk Art on Etsy. And I started making two of them. This is as far as I've gotten. I just have that. And then, let me see if I can grab just like little arms and feet. So the arms don't get stuck. So this would be an arm. So that's as far as I got on that. Two of them. And then I needed to start on the other projects that I'm paid for because those are for me. Um, one will be for sale, actually, and one will be for me. That's how I'm going to try to do those cloth doll things. I'll try to make one for myself and one to sell. Um, so that is a pattern I got. And then let's see, this one I just bought from T TFC Folk Art. She posted it on her Instagram. It's a really dark picture, but that one I also want to make for myself. I don't know if I'll make two of those. This one's a little bit more involved, but I really like that. And I may get it done and I may not because I'm not real good at doing the cloth stuff. And I'm not, not saying I'm not good at talent wise, but I'm not good at making myself do it because I'd rather do cross stitch or punch needle. Um, I have a pattern giveaway for this week, and it is Plum Street Samplers Hello Spring. I'm going to take this out of the package. It's really dark. Let me see if I can get some light on it. Too much light. There we go. Totally bright on me, but... Hopefully you can see that good enough. It's a rabbit. And if you are interested in, there we go. If you're interested in winning this, put the word rabbit in your comment. And my question is, have you started decorating for spring yet? So answer that question. Be a subscriber. Be 18 years or older and live in the United States because of shipping. So this is the giveaway for this week. And the question is, have you started decorating for spring yet? And the keyword is rabbit. And that will be given away on my next floss tube, which I'm not sure when that's going to be. Um, it might be next weekend, but I might be going on a trip. I know I'm going away next weekend and I'll be gone until Sunday afternoon or evening. So I'm not sure when I'm going to get the next video out because I may be coming back from that and then heading to Pennsylvania for a week or so. Still waiting on some details to find out about that. These patterns from the past giveaways, i get these out. They were not claimed. So I am going to list these two. I am going to go back to those videos where I posted those giveaways and I'm going to do another random comment picker to pick a different name. And I will insert that here. Okay, this is for the spring messenger pattern. I had already chosen a name um, by this random comment picker, but that person was not a subscriber, so they're not eligible. So be sure that you are a sub subscriber so that you can win. Let's do this again. Barb Miller. Great job figuring out the robin pattern. I especially like the finish, robin. Thank you, Barb, for commenting and for watching my videos. Get in touch with me by email. Send me your address and I will get this pattern out to you. Thank you. Okay, this is for the Bobby pattern. And again, the person that was picked the first time was not a subscriber, so they cannot win. So I'm going to pick another name. Make sure you are subscribed. And this one is Margie. I've never seen the Bobby pattern before. I really like it. 
Thank you, Margie, for watching my video and for commenting. Get in touch with me through email and send me your address and I will send this out to you. Thanks. So congratulations to those winners. Please contact me by email. My email is right here. I will not put anything in the comments. I'm sure you've all heard about that. I might answer your comment and say, um, for this one, I might say, get in touch with me. And my email is on my about page on my YouTube, um, where you can contact me on Instagram or messenger, but I will not put in the comments, you have won and it will have nothing to do with any, um, oh gosh, I forget what the word they were using. Anyway, I won't say anything about giveaway. I will just say contact me um, through email. So these two get in touch with me. This is the second time I have drawn names for those. This one I will draw on my next floss tube. And I think that is everything. I, I don't have a whole lot here. I, I don't have whips really because I work on one thing at a time. So I don't have like, you know, the whip parade and all that stuff. Um, and I have a little bit of haul here, so which I already showed you. And now I'm rambling. So thank you for watching, everybody. And I did check my stats the other day. About 50% of my viewers are not subscribed. It is totally free to subscribe. And when I reach 2,000, I am going to have a bigger giveaway with more patterns and I have some magazines and everything and I'm going to be giving those away and also want to, I have some giveaways for punch needle. So those will be when I reach 2000, this patterns that I'm giving away these two, actually all of these were given to me to use as giveaways. So um, that's why I'm doing those right now. So I will see you on the next video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up because it does help the algorithm. It means that YouTube will push my channel out to other people because uh, they see that people are interacting and liking it. And I will see you on the next video. Happy stitching and punching, everybody. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. See ya. Mm -hmm.